Hi there, good morning. So today is October 27th, 2022. It is currently 9.14 in the morning. It is about 52 degrees Fahrenheit out there, or 11 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to give a tour of my very tiny little room that is going to take a while to give the tour because there is a lot packed in here. As you can see, I've got stuff uh, spread out all over here. First thing, I'll show the Wi-Fi speeds. 36 megabytes per second, or megabits, 28 megabits per second upload. I have a video uploading about my journey flying here from Oregon yesterday. It is a 20 minute video and it's only going to take like 15 minutes to upload. So that is amazing. So nice fast Wi-Fi. As you can see, I have my own blanket here on the bed. The uh, room came with a very thick blanket. You can see there that was just way too hot. I got here uh, yesterday evening and uh, started off with uh, that thing and I was just sweating away. So that is one of the reasons why I have my own blanket. It is an essential because I very often do not like the blankets that are in hotels. They're too thick, they're too thin, they're too long, they're too short, they're too big, they're too small, they're too dirty, whatever, often. So uh, I end up using uh, my own blanket like at least 50% of the time or so. So we have lots of lights. Got a uh, bedside lamp there, one there, one there bathroom. So as you can see, everything is very, very compact here. Nice uh, desk here, fridge. And then we have here a console with one uh, plug there, another plug there. It says battery charger only. Not sure why. Maybe it is low voltage or something. And then uh, you have a USB port there. And so this dims and turns off that light there. And then you can turn off all of the lights from here, including the uh, bathroom, ceiling, desk, and then this uh, obviously controls the uh, fan and AC and stuff like that. Let's turn that off. Try to, maybe not. And then, this is interesting, I guess it's a flashlight. In case, uh, I don't know, you uh, can't find the light switches in the middle of the night or whatever. I just went to 7-Eleven and so I have a bunch of uh, stuff there. I will show that in a couple of minutes. Let's move on here. We have a uh, kettle there, phone, pen and paper. And then the uh, fridge has a nice handy on-off switch right there. You have uh, like a robe, it looks like, and then a uh, nice carpeting, lots of information here, which seems to be all in Japanese, various uh, booklets, Apple Town, whatever that means. And then here you have what it says is a universal outlet, however, it was not actually universal. I couldn't plug my computer plug into it, so I'm using my European socket adapter and then plugging that in to that. I have my beard trimmer charging up right now because I'm planning to uh, trim off the bushy beard here. Remote control for the TV. Now let's uh, turn this on because it has one uh, critical piece of information on it, which is the, there we go, Wi-Fi password. They said that the password was in the room I was looking all over for it, and then uh, finally turned on the TV, and so there you go. And so a, a big screen uh, TV there. Let's shut off the uh, annoying noises. And then uh, glasses. I think that that is air freshener. And then my own cup there. That is a, a camera bag. Various uh, things of mine uh, spread out there. And then here we have all kinds of knobs and places to hang things, mirror, slippers, garbage uh, cans there, hangers, and then information, bed sheets and pillowcases will not be changed. So you can see the English and the Japanese there. So there is a much English 
on many of the signs throughout Tokyo, and the uh, lady at the uh, check-in desk there spoke English. Okay, the uh, bathroom. Here we have the high-tech toilet situation. I despise the uh, Japanese toilets myself. I just want a toilet that flushes. It has, you know, buttons and whatnot, and I don't make use of any of that uh, there. I, in fact, generally unplug it if I can. The last time that I was in Japan was four and a half years ago for a month. I will be here probably for a month again this time. This toilet, you can't unplug it seems, and so, you know, it starts to make noises, and then there is a stop button right there. And then here we have an interesting contraption here for the water. So, it took a little while to uh, figure it out, but uh, that is for the shower. That is for the sink. I guess that controls temperature. Not sure. Maybe that is just uh, referring to flow of the water because that controls the temperature right there. And then we have uh, soaps, the usual stuff, shampoo. And so it is a very small room, but you get a lot. It is in a great location. The 7-Eleven was just a block away. It is so uh, just like pleasant, very quiet out there. Lots of shops. The restaurant that I showed in the uh, last video, lots of uh, choices of ramen places and uh, various Japanese uh, restaurants. So a uh, great uh, location, a, a nice quiet room here up on a uh, high floor on the ninth floor. I will also uh, step outside really quick and just give a little taste of the uh, outside here. They are uh, doing the room cleaning. It is very nicely done. It seems very new. Okay, let's uh, show what's in the bag from 7-Eleven. And so I forgot to point out the money on the uh, desk here. So we have the Japanese yen. 10,000, 5,000, 1,000, and some coins. So the current exchange rate is 100 yen is 60 cents US. So the... Uh, bag of stuff from 7-Eleven was 2,252 Japanese yen. That is $15.40 or 15 euros 30 cents. The euro and the US dollar are almost exactly the same. All right, so we got a lot for $15.40 here. So a uh, tuna egg cheese sandwich, another one, some muffins, a pudding, Another pudding type thing. They give you various utensils. A cake. 100% orange juice, milk, and then three smoothies. So I'm going to uh, munch on uh, breakfast there and uh, have a relaxing day. I just wanted to give you a little taste for now since I didn't show the uh, room in the last video and I knew it was going to be a uh, kind of a long uh, tour of this uh, small little room. So that is it uh, for this video. But I'm here for five days in Tokyo, and then maybe even stay longer, we'll see. But the general plan is to head north into uh, Hokkaido Island in the north of Japan, and uh, we'll see what else. I will probably be here for at least a month in Japan. As for my plans after that, I have no idea. So uh, that is it for now. Lots more coming from Tokyo. See ya.